Please. Okay, so uh, my name is Philida Pritchard. I'm an educational psychologist um, and I work with Lincolnshire Psychology Services. Fantastic. And you were running a session this morning on school refusal. Yes. Now, what is it? So school refusal is where young people struggle to come into school, usually because of significant emotional difficulties. So things like experiencing high levels of anxiety, maybe sometimes depression, um, but it's usually a lot of worry around different things happening in the school or a particular trigger within the environment. And what isn't it? Because I think sometimes we can get yes. a bit confused. So it? school refusal is usually defined by four things. So that is that they're kind of really struggling to come into the school environment or sometimes lessons within school. So it can also be pupils who are in maybe the SEN department but struggle to come into lessons. Um, it's also defined by people who are experiencing that high level of emotional difficulty. Usually um, children who are described as school refusers struggle um, or, or spend a lot of time at home and their parents are aware of their needs and that's what makes it different from truanting. Okay. So truants usually don't want their parents to be aware of what's going on and usually won't be at home when they're not at school or not at home if their parents are there. Young people um, who struggle with anxiety and that impacts their ability to come into school actually don't show high levels or unusual levels of antisocial behaviour and that's something, something that's often associated with truancy. Okay. Um, so that's one of the differences. And also, often young people who are described as truants don't really show that really significant level of anxiety or emotion. They might do, but actually usually they don't and that's why we really need to think of it as anxiety-based school refusal or school avoidance. So we're trying to change the terminology a little bit at the moment. We are, yeah. So I tend to use emotionally based mm -hmm. um, because I feel like children who maybe don't have a diagnosis of anxiety or don't specifically appear to be anxious might be overlooked a little bit in terms of school refusal. Um, so although I tend to use school refusal now because that's what schools notice, I would like it to be more emotionally based, school avoidance or emotionally based, just difficulties coming into school. I tend to say difficulties coming into school because actually it's not that they're refusing all the time, it's that they can't. And that school. language really matters actually, doesn't it? I think There's so. a lot of blame with the idea yeah. of refusal. And I think if a young person heard that language being used around them, that could be quite harmful to them or maybe feel worse or actually if it's maybe staff using that kind of language then that might become another reason why not to come into school. Absolutely brilliant and in the next video you're going to give us some tips on what we can do to support those children. Yes, fantastic, thank you. Okay.